We spent almost a year learning to sail. We've been working towards one goal of becoming full-time sailors. I'm on the biggest trip of my life, but all I can think of is things like, will our wives enjoy this? Is this the best thing for my family? The only thing I did know is that this was going to be exciting. Like all the colors are just so bright. <laughs> just that Colorado greenery. It's just dull. Hey, look, there's a catamaran just right there. Pretty nice view. Pretty. Well, I'm looking at you, so that's not as great as doing this. Just give it to you. That's a big sacrifice. All right, guys, don't get used to this place. Right now, we are getting ready to pack up our stuff and start our adventure. Gonna go get a taxi over to the Blue Lagoon, and hopefully, I think there's a grocery store there, and we get to buy some snacks and sunscreen and stuff, and meet up with our captain. And then what are we doing? Sailing. Our captain is downstairs waiting. Oh, okay. And then we can ask all the detailed So we are going to take the ASA 101 officially. Oh. Just as like, uh, to see where you're at. So. Oh, okay. And if you fail it, you just take it again at the end. Oh. Yeah. Jason. Jason. That's a good Irish name. Yes. Yeah, it is. Just a bit. But what I'm saying is more, most important than anything else is you learn something, you get confidence, and we have fun. Okay? Passing exams is great, but that's secondary to everything else. Alright? But I've got a good hit rate, so most people pass. So. Relax. He, he just put pressure on us. <laughs> he just yeah. said most people pass. <laughs> Jason and I had spent the last year learning to sail, but Jessica and Aaron had only gone a handful of times. And so when we found out we had to take the test the first day, they were very nervous. I was really worried that if they didn't pass the test, that it would affect their confidence and their fun the rest of the week. Passed to the, the mask. Are you sure about that? that I thought. I Wait. remember this. Wait, why would the baton be there? Why get it back with Yeah. yeah. No. no. Oh, I like it better. I feel like I can do good with it. I don't know what it's going to be. Alright, taking the test. You have to take tests before you can go on the water. This is not my thing. So here we go. We're going to finish this test and go sailing. I took my test. I'm worried I'm overly confident that what if I passed? And then I probably didn't. I'm going to be really let down. But then again, I feel confident that I will pass 101 this week. No problem. We're good there. I am antsy to get up and do something else. I am in my go fast mode. I am not cool with being slow right now and waiting. So, I'm practicing my being patient. I'm saying the same thing Justin. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's really... <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Say ditto. <laughs> ditto. So I know you already passed it, but do you think you uh, passed uh, it better? My goal is 100% since I've already taken this test and the 103, and if I don't get 100%, I'm gonna feel bad. What if you do worse this time than you did the first time? I won't. I will definitely pass. I just don't know about one or two questions. 
we play him out in. Uh, Aaron, you drop four, so that gives you 96. Whoa. You got 96? Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Jason. <laughs> Jason, you was the 100 percenter. Yeah, 100%. Good job. That was my goal, since I've already taken it. Okay. Um, Doug. Let's put it on. Put it on. Four. You dropped four, Doug, so that puts you on 96. Yeah? All right. 96ers. <laughs> Jessica, you was the one that was scared stiff? Don't be. You only dropped five, puts you on 95. Oh, good. <laughs> and that is a very healthy pass, all of you. Well done. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Thank you. Yeah, that means we're going to get to 104 then. Thank you. No, we all passed. That is so exciting. You did a good job. I mean, you're a good teacher. If I wrote the book, I would accept that. From now on, we're going to see how good a teacher we are. Cheers, everybody. Well done. Well done. We're off to a good, good start. Come on to the rail. Treat them like a magic. When I first started, it used to say it was a gin and tonic offence. If you went down forward, you had to buy them a gin and tonic. <laughs> the two bigger cabins are the two stern cabins. So I left those. I thought, well, I'll leave the two big stern cabins just in case you're two couples. But then there was a spare forward cabin just in case. I chose this forward cabin just for the sake of didn't have to find a damn light switching in the dark last night. So. <laughs> I joined the boat last night. I didn't put any provisions away because I wanted you to see what we've got. And um, between us, we can decide which are the best cupboards to put things in. Okay. I, don't know, I usually put all the snacks in one and call it the morale cupboard. <laughs> 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 the expenses, unfortunately, are all down to you guys. Um, I can't help you this time. Um, I can't say, oh, there's my bit towards booze and stuff because, frankly, this is the uh, first time I've worked since August. Irma destroyed what I had in September and I've been a refugee ever since. So I'm, I'm now working again. So, we're brothers. Yeah. yeah. We're 10 years apart. Who's older? Um, I have no idea. Don't ask me questions like that. that you got to take a guess. Most people get it wrong. Okay, which one's older? Since you asked, um, I'm going to say you're the older. <laughs> did you get that today? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah.
We spent so much time on the lake preparing for this moment. When we turn our bow towards the open ocean, I mean, this is the ocean and we're sailing on it. The only thing that could have made this moment any better is if our whole family was with us. Yeah! Brandy, Brandy would love to be on that right now. Brandy, I'm pretending you're right there. Whoa. Oh man, this is awesome. This size, I think we could sail with the family on a monohull. I kind of feel like, and I don't know, but if you stepped on a catamaran, you would be like, oh, I love this boat. So we shouldn't do catamarans, is what We shouldn't hop on one ever. I Try mean, one. Try one. You can't. I mean, I don't. I don't so, so, somebody sent me a cartoon for Christmas, being as they know I'm religious and Catholic and everything else. And he shows the sailor on his knees by his bed with his rosary beads in his hand and he says, Oh God, I sailed a catamaran and I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> like he's making depression. Yeah. Ah, me hearty lad. <laughs> What's a pirate's favourite letter of the alphabet? R. R, you might think it's the R. It'd be the C. <laughs> Oh, look at that swell. Oh, look at that swell. That's a great one. <laughs> it's not working because it's got a paddle wheel and you'll have a, a bit of growth on it. Oh, that was so awesome, like riding down that. So we can go scuba diving to clear it off. If you know where it is. We can roughly go away from it. We know what it looks like though. We got one on our boat. Oh, well, you can see it. It's up here. All right, let's 
try it. I don't want to try it. The paddle wheel that Doug cleared off of my boat had rocks in it. That tells you how fast you're going. Oh. Practice a little boat maintenance. I want, I want this boat so bad. This boat is amazing. Hey, we're sailing in the Caribbean. We are doing that. Fast forward a year. Yeah. I feel like we're sailing the Atlantic. It's like, just the I'm... Atlantic Ocean you're sailing in. Yeah. This is it. This yeah. is where it leads the Caribbean. I bet we haven't done this. It's not taking us two hours to get across here, has it? <laughs> flying, man. Flying. And seasickness, they say, that it's not the, 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 the feeling that you're going to die. It's the feeling that you're not going to die. <laughs> I really want to do this full time, like for a long time. He said that uh, the swells are as bad as it would ever get. It's our first day of sailing on a big boat, and uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. Now the trick is be able to afford a boat exactly like this one. This one's awesome.
what a way, you know, to to start my new season, if you like. It was like, wow, that was that was incredible. That was really so I <laughs> I just thought better part of it, you know, just hang on to the helm and, and just break you in slowly. And that's where I took the chance to do the, the taps in the bay. I thought, well, we're going to come out with something. We're going to do something today. It's the biggest I've had down here, and it's the biggest I've had in a charter or teaching environment. Cool. I've been out in bigger, but like we've, I've had a boat full of skilled sailors, and we've gone out for it because <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you yourself said like, wow, you know. So we've done that, and I've had a boat full of guys. Uh, we've sailed, skilled sailors, and we've gone out and, and nailed it and gone, yes, come back, whoa, great, you know, that was amazing. Um, and winds, I've been out in far stronger winds, and teaching I've been out in stronger winds, it was the swell. Yeah. And, and that was like, I was watching that swell, I was thinking, you have got to be kidding me. Surfing down them waves was like, wow. <laughs> it was amazing, it was good. It is so peaceful out here at night. We shouldn't care about anyone who brings us down. Doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do, doing what you do.